What's up guys and welcome to Sunday Vlog. In this Sunday Vlog, I'm just going to be telling you what videos I've done, what videos are put up and obviously just a few videos that are up and coming and then if there's any videos that you guys want to see maybe. I will have a little project going in this video just kind of showing you guys what you can do. Do you have like any Pokemon cards and you have all these coins and other than playing with the game you're not really too sure what to do with them well i'm just going to show you like a little fun project that you can do if you want something to you know to have them in so so they don't get damaged and so you can collect them right diff, diff, diff. <laughs> right so i don't know where diff came from i think it's my face it makes me um talk funny sometimes we do have Instead of Duff, we do have uh, Varmic Pop and we also have the voucher giveaway. So remember, if you're an Apple player, you'll get a £10 Apple voucher. If you're a Google player, you'll get a Google Play uh, voucher. And also, obviously, you'll get this lovely Star Wars Pop. We do have pops coming. I do have a new series coming to my channel, which is going to be a pop in a box unboxing that I'm going to be doing with me and Emma, uh, which we're going to just, we've got a haul of pops coming and we're just going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing of them and just sort of like saying what we've got in there and adding them to the collection. And then obviously we give away stuff out of our collection as well. And um, then obviously we do it with the voucher. So it's a monthly giveaway thing. I do have, I got all these pops um, last well, we'll say last, well, yeah, this week gone. It was probably like two days ago. I kind of did a deal with a lady. I managed to get all these pops for 30 quid. So I got in there uh, Willy Wonka. I also, let's see if there's anywhere to put it. I also got Deadpool, which is there, which is pretty cool. He yeah, has got a bit of a slit in the box. He probably did try to come out of the box, to be honest with you. And then I also have um, Fluttershy. So we got Fluttershy with that as well. These are just ones that the lady had. And that she was doing a deal with. I'll tell you how much I paid for them all in a moment. And then I got Regina, which is a uh, a nice sort of like exclusive. It's an underground toys exclusive, so that's pretty cool. This the box is pretty good condition. I do also have a frozen Elsa doll, so that's pretty cool in the pop. Uh, collection. I'm just going to sit that there. I hope it doesn't all fall down. And yeah, I got all those for 30 quid, so I thought that was pretty good. So um, I see it on there. She was giving them away. I offered her 30 pounds for the whole lot delivered, and we got them. So it, I think that's a pretty good deal for what we got there. Um, we do still have the birds chirping. I think they're getting a little bit older now, so hopefully they might fly away soon so that we can do vlogs without having birds chirping in the background. Don't forget, guys, we do have the Golden Freddy giveaway happening uh, right now. This end at the end of I'm trying to see what the date is I think we've got 30 days so this ends on the end of May so obviously April's giveaway is done which was the FNAF stage the person um, fun time Bonnie or something I think it was or Bonnie something I can't remember what his name was he hasn't collected his stage winning if he hasn't got it by the end of May then we will be doing another raffle draw from the same numbers that entered to uh, be able to win it. So if he doesn't get his act together and hurry up and um, claim the stage, then one of you's are gonna get to win it again. Remember, we do have that. If you wanna enter into winning the Golden Freddy, please check this link up that's scrolling along right now. Go in there, pop your name into the comments box. That's all you have to do, and you'll be entered in to win. Uh, the same with the pop in the box. Remember, just enter your name in there and you'll be entered into win on that. I was going to bring you down like, real quick and then I'm going to quickly show you guys what's going on down here. So we can just show you this quick project that I've got going on. So here you go. Here's the bottom half of me, which isn't that pleasant, but anyway. Right, so I've got some coins that are all laid out. So what I'm going to do is obviously try and make this quick. The, on the back, it's got the Pokemon. So you want to lay this inside, 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 inside this frame. So just put them in nice and neat. And here we go. Try and put them around the right way. What we're going to do here is just it's a nice little thing to have. If you're a Pokemon fan and you want to sort of like display all these coins, obviously they're used in the game. But for this for this project, we're going to be doing it. For a nice little display so let's put them around get them all neat obviously the background would be white and I don't really want the white background I've stole some of Sky's origami paper here um, it's got a little bit of a crease in it but it's fine just to place on there for the background once we've done that we want to place this little bit I don't want to say little bit but it's just a 
um, the back of the frame. So like I said, this this frame was from QD. It was two pounds. It wasn't a lot of money. If you want them to stay in place, you can put a little bit of um, blue tack on the back of them, and then they will stick and not move as much. But for the purpose of this project, I just want to show you what it would look like. So we're going to quickly lift it up. There you go. So it would look like that. So it's just a cool little fun display. Let me just put this down onto the floor for you if you want to do it, just so you can display your uh, Pokemon coins. I just think it's I think it's pretty cool. So let's lift this up without turning the camera off, because it's the first time I've done Sunday Vlog, and I think when I lifted you up last time, when I was recording this, I think I might have uh, pressed the stop button, which is why I'm doing it again. All right, let me just lift this up. So there you go. There's a Pokemon coin display. I hope you guys like it. Put down, doing it delicately, because I don't want it to fall. You can do it with all different colours. I do have a load more uh, coins uh, here, so we, we can make some more. What I'll do is I'll probably get those fixed in a little bit better than that, and then we'll get some more, and then we'll have them up on the wall if we've got, we've got some spaces still. So we might as well fill them up, which will be really cool. I am going to attempt to do the Negan Bat soon. I know I keep saying I'm going to do it. I know it's I'm going to do a LEGO Dimensions video, but I have obviously a 47 and a half hour a week um, job. I do have and I have ordered the sister location characters. I have pre-ordered those. They are coming. So if you want to see us do an unboxing of those, then we, we might be building the, the house for it, which would be pretty cool to do the sister location house. But we still have obviously the other project going on with the stages and we obviously still need to finish that off. I'm at the moment in production on building tables for the stage and I want to get some pizzas and I've got to try and figure out how I'm going to build the chairs. So if you want to see more Fanash stuff coming, it's coming to the channel soon. Obviously we'll have loads of Pokemon Go videos coming. Only do Pokemon Go when there's actually something decent to talk about like the shiny Pokemon, the shiny Bulbasaur which I've put up. Um, I've got a video for that which you could check out here. That is just kind of just saying like his shiny po his shiny bulbs are in the game. I think it's probably just a picture that they put on there to try and get us to go onto it, just like people think I did to make them go onto the video. And um, you know, I just I just don't think there's going to be a shiny bulbs all around. So yeah, that's it. I do have the, obviously the Pokemon project coming, which is where I'm trying to do the Pokeballs and make them light up. I did try to make Emma a love ball one and it kind of caught on fire. There's a little bit of a snippet of a video of it here if you want to check that out. And it went horribly wrong. So I've got to try and figure out how I can fix that if I can. Uh, I just think the battery might be a bit too much for what I wanted to do. So if I get a better battery or maybe like a smaller voltage one, it won't heat up and burn the wires. It was what it was what the problem was is it was burning out the wires. Um but you're all just seen by that video anyway. Yeah so we have lots of videos coming up. We have obviously car guides coming soon. The weather's got better now. Um that's gonna be I'm gonna be doing a couple of car guide videos. I do have a couple of car guide videos recorded so Please stay tuned for that if you're car guide people. And then obviously we do have loads of more FNAF stuff coming. We have Pokemon Go stuff coming, creative stuff. Me and Emma are doing cosplay this year. So we will have our costumes coming up. We think we're gonna Emma, we're gonna we're probably gonna go as Pokemon trainers, aren't we? And that's why we're making the like battle damage ball. So we're gonna be Pokemon trainers. And then if we get to take the kids with us, if we've got them on our weekend that we go, then we will possibly dress them as Pokemon so they're following us around, which will be pretty cool. So We've got that. Right, so guys, you've been watching Sunday Vlog. I am Flame with a 4. Thanks for coming to my channel. And thank you for getting the FNAF video to 137k views. Because that is just a ridiculous amount of views. Um, the Bulbasaur video that I put up only one day ago is already at 1500. If you guys can get me to 2000 um, subscribers, then what we'll do is we'll do a Q&A with me. Uh, I'll try and do it live. I haven't got a clue how to do it, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. And we'll just do a Q&A video and hopefully we, you might be want to ask some questions about me and um, that would be great to get to know you all. So I'll see you again on the next video. See um just keep an eye out. Just keep an eye out for the videos up and coming. I can't say when they're going to be here, but if you want to see me every Sunday, I'm always going to be here every Sunday. But if you want to know when a video is up and coming, I'm not too sure. Follow me on Instagram because I tend to put up pictures on there of when I'm going to be doing a project and I kind of put up a date that I'm going to put a video up if I'm going to do it. So follow me on there and you'll be able to see. If you want to keep track of um, everything I do, then, and then go on there and that will help you out. But see you on the next one. Bye-bye.